Now, one of the oldest gags in the sporting calendar is the foreign tennis star who says, I love Wimbledon. I wish they'd hold it in the summer, though. <laughs> And sure enough, rain has stopped play this afternoon on the day that we've sent our weather presenter, Rachel Mackley, to it's SW19. It is. Uh, Rachel, any sign of Cliff Richard starting a sing-along? Well, I wish there was. We really could do with him, I'm afraid. As you can see, really, from about 4.30, the clouds started to darken, and sure enough, the rain arrived. All the covers on the outside courts are on, and the roof is on on centre court. But earlier, when the sun was shining, it was glorious. Ice cream and strawberries, pims. Well, I went to go and get a flavour of day four here at Wimbledon. Shock exits and slippy courts. It's been a controversial Wimbledon so far. Today, though, business as usual. Four days of dry, bright weather has meant uninterrupted play and a few other Wimbledon traditions. Very traditional, coming with your picnic and your champagne, having your food and wandering around the courts. Fantastic. So what difference does it make when the sun shines? Oh, well, I've been, when it, I've been when it rains and it's a heck of a difference, yeah, sitting here miserable, wondering where you can keep dry. Pims, sunshine and Murray hopefully winning. Whilst the sun shone, Serena Williams cruised through barely breaking sweat. Juan Martin Del Poitro kept his cool to beat Canadian Jesse Levine. But the clouds gathered over Wimbledon and Laura Robson had to wait to face her Colombian opponent in her bid to reach the third round. So here at Wimbledon, this rain should be clearing out of the way really from about...